Welcome to Growing in the Word on today. I'm Sandra Burnett. How do you know if you're walking in the Spirit? Well, today I'm going to share one of the fruits of the Spirit that you should be bearing will prove that you are walking in the Spirit. So if you're interested in this video, I want you to keep on watching. But before we get started, remember to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Keep those comments coming. And come on, let's grow in the Word of God. in the spirit. Well, I have a few definitions here that I wrote down. Walking in the spirit means being sensitive to the leading and the guidings of the spirit. It means daily living a lifestyle that is empowered by the spirit of God. Living a lifestyle that is driven and dependent on the spirit of God and living a lifestyle in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5, 16 through 26, I'm not going to read it all, but I am going to read some of it. The 16th verse says, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your life. Listen to this other part of this verse. It says, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. So if we allow the Holy Spirit to guide our life, the word of God says, then we won't be doing what our sinful nature craves. The sinful nature produced all different kinds of fruit. It produced idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, anger outbursts, and so on. But the fruit of the Spirit, it produced love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. So the results of walking in the Spirit produce fruit. And the fruit that I'm going to talk about today is peace. So what is peace? It is a state of quietness, of tranquility. It is freedom from disturbance and agitation. It is a calmness, a quietness of mind, a quietness of conscience. Jesus said in John 14 and 27, peace I leave you. But he said also in that verse, he said, my own peace I leave you. So this is a supernatural peace that the believer have. It is Jesus peace and it cannot be obtained through this world system. So how do we stop allowing agitation and disturbance, fear and intimidation to rule in our lives by walking in the spirit? We have to allow, we have to let the Holy Spirit rule our lives. How do we do that? When we stay connected to the vine. Let me pause. I, I pause so you can chew on that. I pause so you can think on that. When we stay connected to the vine. So we're going to read about that. It's found in John 15, 1 through 5. It says, I am the true vine, this is Jesus talking, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he purges it that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean, Jesus said, because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abide in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches, whosoever abide in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So we can see from this scripture 
that we can bear much fruit when we abide in the vine, the fruit of righteousness. And we also bear all of the fruits of the spirit. And today, again, we're talking about the fruit of peace. We will bear the fruit of peace when we stay connected to the vine, when we let the spirit of God lead us, when we maintain our spiritual, personal relationship with God, we're staying connected to the vine. And when we do that, we will see the fruit of the spirit of peace in our lives. So finally, we experience the fruit of peace when we love the word of God, when we meditate on the word of God, when we study the word of God. For the Bible says in Psalms 119, and I love this verse, it says, great peace have they that love the law. Because the word of God is life. The word of God is light. The word of God gives us direction on the way to go. And the word of God lead us to all truth. And when the word of God lead us, he lead us to the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. I pray today that you were blessed by the word of God. I pray that your peace was stirred up in you through the spirit of God and that you would begin to let the Holy Spirit guide your life. God bless. Have a growing day in the Lord. Thank you.